After the party, it's the hotel lobby. Yeah. After the Belvy, then it's probably Chris. And after the original, it's probably this. Yes, my best side, Fiesta. Remix with the homie from the Midwest side. Game recognized, game hoes do too. It's a new two live crew, I suppose you knew. So thugs, pop the toasters, but don't approach us. Or bullets will chase you like Moet Mimosas. Catch us both coasters, racing twin coaches, boxes with plastic. Happy New Year. This is Stu with Wheelie Cool Videos. We're back for 2017 with the good car homie, Jet, from 1552, and his daily driver this time, Ford Fiesta ST, or the Ford Party, that I like to call it. <laughs> this is the second time on the channel. First time we did his 996 anniversary edition, which was sweet. Still, actually one of my favorite cars that, we ever, that I've ever driven. But this is his daily. So the Jeff, thanks for coming back again, man. Appreciate it. Hell yeah, I'm super stoked. Hey, always, hap the, always happy to be on the show. This thing is far from stock, especially with the body mods. This thing is wide body, got the carbon fiber fender flares, Ooh. and some really wide and super awesome 1552 wheels. And this thing also has basically the full mount tune package on it, so it's got a good amount of power too. So right off the bat, this thing is really fun. Um, stock weight on these Ford Fiestas are only 2,700 pounds. 200 horsepower, 200 torque stock. Um, for $21,000 new, that's a pretty sweet deal. And especially with the, this tuning potential. It's a 1.6 liter four cylinder turbo. What do you think the horsepower is, it, is right now? Um, at this point, you know, it's pretty much what Ford ST people call a, a stage three. I know that it, stage three means different things to different people. Gotcha. Um, to Ford, people it means uh pretty much all the bolt-ons for the exception of a large turbo gotcha so we're stock turbo stock we got turbo. a mount to an intercooler got an itty bitty turbo <laughs> big intercooler uh, and then all the pipes we got the turbo back mount to an exhaust we're on the mount to an springs stock shocks right stock shocks no sway springs. bars uh no sway bars or anything at this point we're gonna do a first gear pull here we go Ooh. You're right, it does die a little at the top, but it's got tons of torque. The second gear is pretty out of control. The first gear is kind of useless. The first gear was kind of a letdown. Well, and that's why the car suffers 0 to 60, like as far as numbers are concerned. Ah. Because the 0 to 60 is supposed to be like high sixes, but at the same time, the car doesn't reflect on a high six, 0 to 60. Yeah, this, I think it's just first gear is kind of limiting with it. Absolutely, absolutely. Because this car, I mean, even if when it's in second gear and up, you know, it, I mean, it, I mean, it's not a fast, fast car, but for a little street car, it's a beast. It does feel really quick, though. And I'm glad you got big, meaty tires on here because we're not uh, having any problems putting the traction down right now. No, the 205s is a little bit different. The 245s, it helped out a lot. <laughs> So this car has our front splitter on it, um, or lip extension. It has rocker extensions, our rear spoiler extension that's sort of a ducktail, and then it has our carbon fiber fender extensions on it. Wow. Um, all of them are carbon fiber. Um, we, we sell them in both FRP and carbon fiber. Okay, so you can either paint it to match or leave it the, the glossy carbon. Right? Uh, yes. Yeah, and on this black, that gloss carbon really works. Yeah, I love it. Uh, you know, I'm I'm kind of a fan of this stuff. <laughs> but it takes a car, Ford Fiesta. You could normally call it a little bit tame or boring or look girly, girly. But yeah. now, man, this thing looks freaking angry. Uh, Here we go, second gear pull. Yeah, shipped at five. That's nice. It's got 
it's, it has that's good torque. It's just lacking on horsepower, and that's yeah. why a lot of the guys do the turbo because the turbo allows you to get that that horsepower that you couldn't out of this one. Now we are rubbing a little bit. This is a fresh setup, so it's not completely dialed in yet. And uh, Jeff, as a wheel guy, he wanted to put the fattest tires and lowest offset wheels he can, of course. So he's going to have to tweak and tune them to get them perfect. But that's okay. Tell us about these things. They're, they're two-piece, right? Yeah. They are forged Tarmac F40 two-pieces. 17 by 9, pretty low offset. And then it's got one of the craziest finishes and custom finishes I've ever freaking seen. So... <laughs> From far away, <laughs> it looks like bronze. Yeah, um, but it's got a lot more depth than that. There's stuff going on. Big yeah. handy bronze with a DDT over it or a double dark tint. Whoa. So they're both top coats or translucent, something you'd be able to see through to a degree. It does make it look really unique. And the cool thing about 1552 is you can order their, their cast wheels, which are very affordable price point and good quality, and get some of these custom crazy finishes um, that he does on the two-piece. Absolutely. The forged. So, um, kind of the sky's the limit as far as what you can do, forged or cast, and to really make that custom look. near the top end that's when you need the bigger turbo but it's a lot of fun the car feels light 2700 pounds it feels really light nimble and just playful yeah, I, it's, it's a really fun car and I can't believe like it's a Ford Fiesta I'm 6'3 there's tons of room in here you know it's it's $21,000 new lots of room and it's super fun and honestly the build quality and everything you touch feels nice it's not bad there are some hard plastics but they're like actually that isn't even hard that, that's nice dude uh, is there any short shift or anything or is this yeah stock? it's got a reduced shift yeah what's uh is that mount tune also yes sir okay it's perfect i like the little shift knob Ooh, Ooh, shh, don't tell no one don't tell anybody let it that out <laughs> you have the cob tuning access point right correct so so cob Cop makes the access port. Which looks cool. There's all types of data flashing up here. I don't know what the hell it's saying, but it just makes me feel like I'm in a race car. So essentially that, that access port gives you the ability to do two things. It gives you the ability to tune the car, do multiple tunes on the car at any given point while you're in the car as far as doing a stage one, stage three, putting it in valet mode Ooh. so that it doesn't go over 35 miles miles an hour or like, or like five pounds of boost economy mode so that it only Ooh. does five pounds of boost and you can't do any more than that so nice. it does like high gas mileage then there's also the aspect of the gauges so the gauges it gives the ability to, to view any bet anywhere between one and six gauges on it and by gauges i mean anything that the ecu normally reads okay it, it will give you the information on so we got boost pressure what do we have on here right now air fuel ratio okay. um i think oil temp yeah oil temp and then char and then charge temp so Sweet. then I know what's coming in after the after the intercooler. $20,000 car. But the, yeah, the truth is, is that the minute you get into this thing, you kind of become a salesman for it. Yeah. You know, because you end up loving the car. There's uh, there's really nothing bad I can say about the car. I, I, I love this car. To have this car every day makes my hour and 
20 to hour and 30 minutes to work right. much more enjoyable yeah I will say with the sticky tires and the big sticky tires that are on it right now I think it does increase the torque steer a little bit but it's not bad at all uh, so it's got this sweet shift knob and I love the reverse lockout that yeah. is so sweet to get into reverse you lift up on the bottom part Ooh. I don't have that on the 996. Sometimes so I get slick. sometimes I get scared when I'm doing those those shifts down in the first, you know. <laughs> Jeff, thank you so much, bro. You got Stu. Second time around, but I had a lot of fun driving it, dude. A lot of fun. Great daily. Good Great. pedal placement. Good fun. It's just playful. It makes you feel like kind of a little young kid, right? Like a little Civic Si. You know, oh, it does. You're, I act like a 16 year old anyway. <laughs> me too. So um, it's but not it, hard for me to feel young, but yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it does make you feel like a kid when you're in it's this. It's young, thing. inspiring. It's a little immature, and that's a good thing. Yeah, maybe we'll go TP a house or egg, <laughs> egg, egg somebody after this. Let's do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, I don't know what you're doing because we got Ford Focus. ST wide body coming. I got a Ford Focus RS coming. Uh, some sweet Volkswagens, everything from like a Mark II GTI to a Volkswagen Phaeton to an all motor uh, R32 and even some Ferraris and Porsches in there. So please subscribe. Thanks for your support. Have a really cool day, guys. Peace! <laughs>